Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Star of Wonder, and our scripture is Matthew chapter 2. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose. We have come to worship him. And the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Last night was the winter solstice, the shortest day and darkest night of the year. Ironically, it was also the time of the brightest guiding light since March of A.D. 1226, when planets Jupiter and Saturn visibly aligned to form a Christmas star. The scientific or astronomical name for this rare event is a planetary conjunction. According to some sources, it was this event that led the wise men from the east to Bethlehem. I shared some thoughts of this on Sunday with our churches, and in an informal discussion, a friend suggested the star that led the wise men was probably a one-time God-created moment in the heavens. I can't say I disagree, Whatever movement occurs in the heavens is a matter of God's handiwork. Whether the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction is some sort of godly prelude to a special event, I cannot say. But one thing is certain. This event gives us a marvelous opportunity to gather with others out under the dark solstice skies and contemplate God's wonderful gift of reminders. As the crosses in our sanctuaries or the ones we wear as jewelry are not the cross upon which Jesus died, and a hole you dig to plant a tree is not the borrowed tomb from which the Lord rose on Easter morning, and every cloud in the skies is not the one which the Lord said would accompany his next appearance, all of these and everything in God's creation is most certainly an opportunity to remember and be thankful. For you today, I do hope you will not miss the opportunity between now and Christmas night to spend a few minutes seeing this bright planetary conjunction display. Read Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 11 and imagine you're getting closer to the manger. Have a moment of joy in remembering our Lord's birth. Sing joy to the world, the Lord has come. And as you do any or all of these suggestions, Treasure the moments when the gifts you open, the events you must attend, and decorations you hung are the farthest things from your mind. Let's let the psalmist have the last word today. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display His craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make Him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth, and their words to all the world. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.